Okay, so we have got our unstructured delivery mesh uh, for the cylinder body, and we had a look at the cut plan. And manage. No, okay. And we saw that the prism layers is just made of three elements. And that's not good. And um, it definitely needs to be a lot more smaller in terms of this first cell spacing in order to capture the normal Reynolds numbers that we use. So in order to capture the boundary layer for the Reynolds numbers that we use commonly. Something about a million or in between uh, 300,000 to, to 5, 10 millions. It depends really on your problem at hand. <coughs> uh, okay, so what we can do is we can go to Edit Mesh. Um, where is it? I haven't been to the unstructured part so long. First, let's check the quality uh, to see if it's if it's an okay mesh. Yeah, I'm 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 quite happy with that because no negative elements. Uh, usually, if there's negative elements or elements of negative volume or very low quality that solvers can't handle, then this will be be below zero. And in that case, if this is if the quality of your mesh is close to zero, or even if this bar is highlighted then you can always go and say to uh, reset it then it will show uh, from the beginning like if I reset it here it uh, show me the lowest quality is 0.26 and that's fine okay so where is uh, let's find the prism prism distribution um, oh yeah here it is split mesh split prism in the far field, uh, sorry, cylinder and volume parts fluid. Uh, there's no actually, there's no surface parts. Okay, so yeah, fix initial height and actually just let's say fixed ratio of 1.2 and Let's make this 10 layers or 15 10 layers for the purpose of this tutorial and click apply see what happens done split prisms well that was quick go to shortcut plan volumes okay now we see there's there's 15 just go to the plus minus x axis and zoom in and zoom in more. Okay, you see that it's it, it's done, it's split every prism layer to five, so there's um, yeah. Every split, every prism layer to uh, one, two, three, four. I can't count it. I'm assuming there's 15 or 10 layers. Um, it should be 10 layers. That's um, so it is here. Oh, it split every uh, the three layers that we had. It split to 10 layers each. So it was my bad. So there's 30 layers of prisms now. Where, uh, but you see that the spacing is like it started at really small spacing, and when the first layer finished, again it started at small spacing. So that's not good, and we have to fix that. And in order to do that, let's just dismiss dismiss cut plan again, and then go to edit mesh. Um, 
move nodes redistribute prism fix initial height this is where you get to fix your initial height so let's just uh, take a value of 0.1 I'm just using what you need to go and calculate your first cell height according to the Reynolds and Mac and density and then uh, click apply and see what happens it's stuck even though I'm showing you all these unstructured machine methods I am a fan of blocking and uh, hexahedral uh, structured meshes. Once you learn hexa meshing, you can almost mesh anything with very good quality. Uh, even though it's a bit hard to learn. Okay, so. That didn't help much. Um, something has gone wrong. Redistribute. Oh yeah, that's first. First, you need to go to redistribute, fix ratio, fix uh, the ratio that you want to use to for the cell jump. So I'm saying 20% increase in the Y spacing. So 1.2, and then after that you can fix the initial height. Let's say our initial height will be 0.25 now. You click apply. Okay, so it's done that, and uh, now we have a good boundary there that we can use to uh, solve this configuration. Okay, before we end this tutorial, I would just like to see the mesh quality. It's point two. Report between 0 and 1. Except 0.3, that's fine. Um, we can. Uh, yeah, in the next video, we will. Uh, we will learn how to uh, smooth the mesh and improve the quality furthermore.